Welcome to a short video showcasing the brand new book from Loyalty and Honor Publishing. That's right, Tiger Commander, The Life of Hapstam Fuhrer Philip Thies. The hardback book format, A4, covers the life and subsequent death of Hapstam Fuhrer Thies split into different chapters covering different sections or notable changes within his um, military career. Starting off in the Dutch Young Folk, progressing through to the Hitler Youth, there's also images from his then girlfriend Elsie, who he subsequently marries later on. After the Hitler Youth, he progresses on through to the Reichs Arbeitsdienst, doing his obligatory service there. Before, in the end of 1936, he moves to the SS Verwugungstruppe, being placed in Dachau and serving with the SS Nuremberg or SSN. Undertaken various route marches around the Southern Bavarian area in 1937. They also begin to train in the various weapons they think they would need as the threat of war looms. SSN, serving under Deutschland at that time, took part in various parades around Munich and of course held the um, guard posts around the Ehren Temple in the uh, Feldherrenhalle. Here we see a nice image of the then Standard Führer Felix Steiner inspecting the men of SSN. We also for the first time get to see um, one of the guards taking over at the Feldherrenhalle. In this image, on the left, we see Philip himself. Progressing on through into 1937 and 1938, taking further route marches around southern Germany. At that time, um, Philip was under the command of Herbert Kuhlmann, later Knight's crossholder. They also pay a visit as part of uh, Deutschland to the heavy cruiser Deutschland. Into 1938, Philip is part of the forces that take part in the annexation of Austria and also later to the Sudetenland. Here we see Philip passing, passing by Steiner once again. correspondence between Elsie and Philip and then in September 1940 Philip takes part in officer training at Bad Tultz. Here we see various documents, promotions as he works through the various ranks becoming an SS officer. Some nice close-up shots of the SS Tolts insignia. Before, of course, reaching his last bad Tolts rank of SS Dundart and Oberjunker. He returns to the front line and serves with Der Fuhrer under Otto Kung. Here we see the first of his combat awards as he enters into the Soviet Union. It is also in that um, first advance into the Soviet Union that he gets badly wounded and has to be evacuated. Here we see correspondence from him back to Elsa as he's uh, in hospital. Then he returns to Der Fuhrer once again in mid-1942 when they're stationed in France as part of their rebuild. In 
then held a brief stint with um, Regiment Langemark as part of the uh, Das Rock. Also whilst there he takes some of his men and they go and test drive the new Kubelwagen at the Volkswagen works. Marriage to Elsa almost finishes off 1942, but before that year comes to an end, Philip is part of the troops that move to the newly forming Das Reich Panzer Regiment. Philip is placed with the 8th Company, who at that time were training on the Tiger Tank. As Philip gets into the front line around the Kharkov area, the correspondence between him and his new wife, Elsa, is quite prolific. These letters actually help give context to um, their story. Here we see Philip with some of the other well-known Tiger Tank commanders within Das Reich. Some of the more well-known images, these images actually are within Philip's surviving collection, they show the various tanks, um, including the well-known Tiki from Das Reich. You see a nice group shot of various Tiger Tank commanders, some of which went on to win the Knight's Cross. Another correspondence between him and Elsa. When they get up to June, getting ready for the uh, Kursk Offensive. By this time, Philip is an SS Obersturmfuhrer. Philip's tanks in within various Craigsburg to images taken during the Kursk offensive. It was actually during that offensive that Philip lost his life in, on the 15th of July. At that point, he was the acting Tiger Company commander. Here we see the first notifications of his death. Charting the location where he was killed. And then the rest of the book focuses on life after Philip's death and for Elsa who has to pick up the pieces and basically get on with life. As she does that, she receives further notification of a posthumous award of the Iron Cross First Class. Here we see Philip's soul book. Some letters from his, his comrade and former commanders. And a very detailed letter from his close comrade, Running House, detailing what took place on the day of his death. His grave and also a posthumous promotion to Habsturmfuhrer. Some further correspondence where Elsie's trying to sort life out for herself, pensions and the like, and then just finish off some of the surviving items from Philip's collection. Well, this gives you an idea of what the book holds. We look forward to hearing from you for you to secure your own copy. Thank you.